Hello again, everyone. I'm Lee Berger. I'm here at the Hill Exploration Center at Rising Star. I want to show you some of the new discoveries that are coming out of the block today from the 105 side. I've seen on videos, they're really exciting. I think you're going to enjoy this. So over the last couple of days, some very nice fossils have come out of the 002 block. I'm here at Rising Star now near the prep lab, and this is the first time I've actually physically seen the fossils. I've, of course, seen them uh, virtually before. These three have come out of the block now, and I'll go through each one. Uh, they're, they're kind of easy and kind of intriguing at the same time. Uh, this fossil, which is is labeled UW105003. Um, you can see the very thick cortex on it. It's a very straight fossil. If I put it into a position like this, you can begin to get to see some of the anatomy on it. This looks to me like the central part of a hominid tibia. It's a very delicate little thing. It's, a, it's very narrow. Uh, it's, it's quite a petite uh, tibia, but it's a very beautiful uh, uh, tibia and almost certainly the central part of a hominid tibia. What's neat about it is these two ends were broken off during the mining and I suspect it'll be a very uh, easy thing to, once we begin removing material, we'll find the blocks on both sides of that and be able to put this whole tibia together. Given its condition, I suspect that it uh, will be ultimately very complete. This uh, fossil has come out. This is UW105 from block two as well. Um, fossil 004. Uh, this is a little bit harder to tell, and it's one of two things, in my opinion. This is either a distal radius, um, or it is a very small uh, shaft of a distal humerus. Now, uh, I, I know I should be able to tell you uh, which of those two it is, but it's probably a young individual, and the muscle uh, markings aren't very developed, but based on the morphology on, on this end, I suspect that uh, this is a distal radius, uh, and also just based on its uh, relatively small size. And next to those comes what is almost certainly a hominid femoral shaft. Um, that's all very exciting to see. Uh, that little block where that tooth came from is full of the most magnificent things. And I'm going to take you over to the prep room now where Justin's working because he's just made another discovery. So I'm coming into Justin's preparation area. He's been doing all this beautiful work on the, the, uh, the number two block where that hominid tooth came out. Um, and I've got, he's got something that may be very exciting. I don't want to get too excited yet because we can only see part of it. But he's made a bit of a discovery that, that might be leading to something very very important. So Justin, I'm going to ask you to step back from that so we maintain our, our social distancing and then I'm going to lean in and take a look at this. Okay. Say hi to everyone, Justin. Hi. <laughs> um, I will just allow you to have a look on um, the microscope. Um, if you go further up, you will see like uh, there is a tooth. So I want you to see and have uh, an idea of what you do. All right, so what we've got here, um, what has just been coming up here is this very interesting piece of bone that's coming out here. What you can see is that there appears to be a small bit of tooth right over here, and this is bone that's curving away from that, and then the bone moves up along the area along the top right here. That looks a lot, or potentially, like a maxilla with incisors in it. And, and it's the right shape and the right sort of form to be a hominid maxilla. As I said, I don't want to get too excited yet. There's other things that this could be, but right now it's looking like this block may have a, a very exciting find in it emerging. No matter what it is, it's going to be nice, but if it were a hominid maxilla, it'd give us a look at a face. Um, that's all we're going to look at uh, for now today. Uh, keep joining us for updates from the uh, 105 Expedition.